I am Ron Scalamero. I am 73 years old. I've lived most of my life south of Boston. Always had a very active life. Enjoy activities with my grandsons as well as my five sons. I was denied life insurance coverage because of my very high PSA. I had a PSA of 14, so that is what got me to see a urologist and the process where it was determined that I definitely had prostate cancer. It was 18 years ago. I was 55 years old at the time. I was literally numb to what the news was. At 55 years old, that was the last thing on my mind, or if it was on my mind at all. I was numb to the extent that uh, I drove by the exit where I lived off the highway several times and had to turn around and come back to my exit. Times are different now, certainly, but at the time that I was diagnosed, I felt that people would think that I had received a death sentence. A local urologist, he said I had a maximum of five years to live because of the severity of my cancer. I did not want my life to change because of this diagnosis. I consciously tried to live my life without any change to my lifestyle or anything else. I continued my activities, I continued my business. My initial treatment, which was hormone therapy, as well as external beam radiation between the years 2000 and 2001. And for five years, it didn't show up. And at the end of five years, my PSA started to rise. So I elected to have this surgery in 2006. And after 12 or 13 months, my PSA appeared post prostatectomy, you're not supposed to have any kind of a PSA reading. And I found myself in a position where, in fact, there was no treatment available. I was at the point of deciding whether I wanted to be a participant in a clinical trial. One of my team members at Mass General was the lead physician in apalutamide. I joined the phase two, which is the sweet spot. There are no placebos. I was extremely lucky. I tolerated the drug very well, although I did have some significant side effects. I looked at those kinds of things as speed bumps. That was six and a half years ago. I'm feeling great now. I still have side effects. I tolerate them very, very well. There's very few things that I can't do. As a matter of fact, I can't think of anything right now. So I feel super great right now. My attitude towards having this disease is at least as important as the treatments that I get. We were not gonna let this disease rule our lifestyle and as such, always had hope. With a cancer diagnosis, you can very, very easily get yourself down to the point where you're virtually helpless and you just can't go there. And you've got to have it in your mind constantly that you can live a normal life with it for as, as long as you can.